Hey guys, my name's Haley. Welcome back to the Disney Cupcake channel and welcome to my first of many Disney collection videos that I'll be posting this summer. You're going to want to make sure to subscribe down below because I have a lot of collections to share with you. Today we're taking a look at my Disney popcorn bucket collection. I have 34 popcorn buckets to show you and 24 sippers. Let's get started. First, let's start off at one of my favorite resorts, Tokyo Disney. The first bucket here is the classic Mickey Mouse Tokyo Disney Resort popcorn bucket. This is a really nice bowl shape, almost very, very close to a jelly bean type shape. It has this black top with both of the ears, this adorable little clip opening up to that nice bowl shape. Lots and lots of popcorn can fit in there. Here below that we have the red band with these really cool little bump outs with the yellow dots on them. Here on the sides we have the Mickey Mouse glove hands. Super cute little clip and adds a great detail. Attached to those clips here we have the black straps with all of the Mickey Mouse silhouettes and the Tokyo Disney Resort logo. Next up we have the Tokyo Disney Resort Little Alien Claw Machine from Toy Story. I absolutely love this one. I love how much detail and I love the quality of the Tokyo Disney Resort buckets. This is supposed to resemble the little claw game that you will find the Toy Story aliens in. Here you can see at the bottom we have our little prize slot there with the really cool red detailed rocket ship. We have three little buttons there on the control board and pictures of the aliens here wrapping around the front. Going here around the bottom, it turns to a red color there for the back. And coming here back around the front for the lid portion of this popcorn bucket, we have this really cool little alien dangling there from the claw. Such a great, great detail, and it also has the red and yellow stripe. Lifting up this little notch here, you can see that our little alien is protected so he won't get any butter or anything on him, but you can lift this off if you would like to reach the alien or take him out of this little compartment. Again, this holds a lot of popcorn in it. Great, great size, but also like compact as well. Very, very nice plastic. Here on our orange clips, we have a navy strap with neon yellow stars, spaceships, and of course our Tokyo Disney Resort icon. Sticking with Toy Story, the next bucket we have is Andy's Toy Chest. Again, great quality, great, great detail. Here looking at the front of this popcorn bucket, we have these stickers that show the bottom of the toy chest there with all of the dirt and the wheels, and it is a clear blue base. We have this really cool 3D woody figure here sticking off of the bucket, making him look like he's standing here outside of the toy chest. The rest of his friends there are inside the chest, featuring Rex, Bullseye, Buzz, Jesse, and the aliens. Here we have a tan top, which is peeking open with a little clear section, which is a great, great detail. We also have these same details here on the back and on the other side. Here on the top we have the Toy Story logo, which is where our compartment lifts up to reveal our popcorn. This holds so, so much popcorn. Really, in Japan, they like fill this up so, so nicely. There's just, you get a lot more there than you do here with the US buckets, which I will show you later in the video. Here on the yellow straps, we have this adorable shade of blue featuring a bunch of stars and our Tokyo Disney Resort icon. I love how these all have straps. Our last bucket for the Tokyo Disney Resort is this Buzz Lightyear. This Buzz Lightyear bucket is made to look like the toy box that Buzz Lightyear comes in. Here on the front we have all of the details here about Buzz Lightyear and you can see the figure there inside. Now this compartment actually opens up so you can't see him or touch the figure portion of this so it comes up really really nicely and this does like fold and bend and things like that. Here you can see it is only part of Buzz but it is cool that you can go in there and like dust it or clean it or do whatever you would like. Goes back on super nice and there is that clear compartment. A bunch of cool gray, black, and blue details. They're going all the way around. We have a white back and here on the back is where you would actually retrieve the popcorn from. Again, 
very, very nice. Like, great to grab it. It doesn't fall out the sides. It There's just so, so much space for popcorn. It's unbelievable. And I just think it's so well made. It's so beautiful. I'm just going to keep saying that because I truly think the quality of these is fantastic. Here we have the white straps with a beautiful shade of blue there with more stars and spaceships and our Tokyo Disney Resort logo. Although I did not mention this in my collection count at the beginning of the video, I did want to make sure to show you guys some of the collectible straws that I do have some of the resorts. So this is a clear straw from the Shanghai Disney Resort featuring these little keychain clips. I think it is very, very cool how they do that. And here on the bottom we have our little Lotso figurine. I love the little art style they use over at the Shanghai Disney Resort. I think it looks great. Moving from the international parks here back to the U.S., let's take a stop in California to take a look at some of our Disneyland buckets. This first bucket here we have to look at is a screen printed bucket. This is the classic style of popcorn bucket that you do see at most places. And here it has the Astro Orbiter featuring the Mickey and Friends characters. I love there the Disneyland logo in the sunset. There with a beautiful landscape of Tomorrowland. This is just a classic white bucket with a gold top. And it has a fun little Mickey head there on the top as well with the golden handle. And a nice little clip if you'd like to attach it to your stroller or bag. And this does hold a lot of popcorn too. Our next Disneyland bucket is also a screen printed bucket. This one I got at California Adventure. This also has the Disneyland Resort logo and all of the Pixar characters since I did get this during Pixar Fest. So there you will see Cars, Toy Story, and Inside Out. And this one has a neon green top there with the Mickey head and the little clip as well. Still sticking with the Pixar Fest theme here, next up we have one of the travel mugs that you would get at the resorts. This one has a nice turquoise blue background there with the Disneyland logo, the Coco, Incredibles, and Wally characters. And this one has a red top. The next sipper or cup that we have is from Cars Land. I absolutely love the milkshakes sold at Flo's V8 Cafe. And this is one of the souvenir cups that you can get with your milkshake. It is a clear diner style cup. This is all plastic. And there it has the Cars Land sticker on it. Still talking about Pixar Fest and still talking about cups. Here next up we have the Pixar Fest Glow Alien Cup. This one flashes a couple different ways, a neon green color. There connected to the straw we have the claw and the little alien there at the bottom. This one also has a bunch of really cool stickers on it with the little alien catchphrases. And at the top of this rounded dome cup we have the Pixar Fest logo. Our next cup from Pixar Fest is Woody's Boot. I got a root beer float in this special souvenir cup. And this one also has a lot of great details with the two different shades of brown. It looks exactly like Woody's Boot. And one of my favorite details of this cup is that it says Andy there on the bottom. And yes, another cup from Disney's California Adventure, and this is the Dynaco Motor Oil Can Souvenir Sipper. I really, really love the detail and the theming of these cups, and these were sold many years ago. I do not think that they still have them. I really wish that they did, because it would just add to the amazing theming of the land. You guys can see here all of the fun details on the back. Even just reading this, just the theming, I love it so, so much. I also love the little barcode sticker there too. And here on the top, even the little straw is just like the motor oil can. All right, here we go. Our last sipper for the Disneyland Resort. Here we have the Mike Wazowski sipper with the purple rock base. This one is so so adorable. I absolutely love our little Mike Wazowski. I love how big of literally figures these are. This doesn't hold like too too much of a drink in it, but it is just great for display. And one of my favorite things about this particular sipper is that it actually connects to the popcorn bucket. Right here we have the Sully popcorn bucket. There's our little Sully. I love the art style of this one. It's very, very interesting how they changed the like face and everything, but they kept Mike basically the same. He looks a lot more detailed and a lot more like the movie, but I really like this little cartoon uh, like art style that they used for the Sully. 
the colors and everything are great on it. I love his big chunky feet down there. Looks very, very cute on that purple rock as well. Super big and also has this little backing back here. Again, I really like these little bumper sides. That way the popcorn doesn't fall out. And this one had a lot of popcorn in it as well. This is one of the biggest US buckets I have ever gotten. And here on the straps we have the Monsters Inc. logo. I kind of wish it said Disneyland Resort on them just like the Tokyo Disney ones do, but I really love the theming of the doors on it. Here real quick connecting them together. Mike has these little pegs and Sully has the little holes there where they snap into. Just like that. So they connect super, super well. Again, look great for display and were really fun to carry around the parks together. To end off our stop at the Disneyland Resort, I have a couple of the straws to show you guys. Here we have another one of the twisty clear straws with the little keychain attachment. And this one has a clear claw holding our little alien. Our next straw is a little bit bigger. Here we have a dark blue straw with another little keychain. And here we have the Luxo lamp and ball. I really, really love this one. And our last one here is a spoon and straw featuring Remy here from Ratatouille. This is a super cool little figure, really fun themed straw. They even made it look like it is wood. And I actually kept this one in the packaging. And it would be really cool if they also sold this one at Epcot once the Ratatouille attraction opens. Our last popcorn bucket for the Disneyland Resort here is this red Mickey Mouse balloon. I love the red Mickey Mouse balloon so so much and I was super excited once they came out with these popcorn buckets. Now this one looks super dark because this is actually where I keep all of my pin backs. Just super convenient, easy to get them and I always have this one displayed in my room because I just love it so much. This one you guys may be able to see says Disneyland 60 on it. So this one was released for the 60th anniversary of Disneyland and I wish this one had one of the felty straps too because this one can be harder to hold in the park. Now I don't want to stray too far from Disneyland because I also have some of the holiday buckets. First let's take a look at my Halloween buckets and this one is pumpkin themed. This one is very similar to the Mickey Mouse balloon one that I just showed you. It is a very bright orange and features dark orange little stripes and details on it. It also has a super realistic leaf and stem made out of rubber which look really really cool and feel really really neat. It adds a lot of great details to this little balloon pumpkin. Here we have our glowing Mickey Mouse face. And this one also opens the same way here on the back. And this one also does hold a lot of popcorn as well. Here on the straps we have the bright green clips with the white spiderweb background. You guys may also be able to spot there the Disneyland castle made out of spiderwebs and all of the different Mickey Mouse pumpkins. Our next popcorn bucket is my first annual pass holder exclusive, and that is this purple cauldron bucket. This is a black cauldron there featuring the three pegs on the bottom and these really cool moving handles. Here attached to the handles is a black clip with a purple and black Disney parks and annual pass holder strap. And here on the strap you can also spot the Fab Five characters in their Halloween costumes. One of my favorite things about this bucket is this really cool like flaky purple textured like plastic. You guys can see there the chunks of white and everything in it to make it look like it is full of a bunch of different things. I also love all the textured bubbles and details on it. Now to open up this bucket here we have a little notch on the front. Opening it up here you guys can see also holds a lot of popcorn in it because it is literally just one giant bowl. And one of my other favorite things here about this bucket is it has this little button here to light it up so it looks like it's all bubbling and stuff at night. You guys can see it flashes. This would have been so cool to carry around the parks. 
My last Halloween popcorn bucket is the Oogie Boogie Popcorn Bucket. I believe this is the Walt Disney World version. I purchased this at a Comic Con, so I do not know for sure what park it was sold in. But this is the one with the darker red base with the different dice details. This one is not as detailed as the newer version of the Oogie Boogie Bucket. This one is a lot more toned down. Here we have a almost minty green colored Oogie Boogie there with some very like simple details. I think the newer one is a lot more detailed, but this one does have a lot of cool textures to it. You can feel the canvasy textured of his outfit and all of the different creases of the outfit as well. This one has a matching little clip with a Disney Parks little black strap there with the Oogie Boogie logos and designs. This one doesn't hold that that much popcorn. It does open up here on the back and it's kind of oddly shaped but it does have the little additional like catchers here for the popcorn too. The last item that I have from Disneyland for Halloween is this really cool little apple. I love this looks so so cool this bright crystally purple does match the popcorn bucket cauldron that i just showed you and here we have a foggy white little drizzle there on the top of this little apple and this one was for one of the cool drinks that they sold at the event so it has this little button here and you guys can see it lights up and it flashes to help make your drink extra spooky i think it looks really really cool i really really like when they do these fun themed ice cube things as well. They're great to scatter around displays and they're always like a unique character or for example object that they don't really sell items for so it's really really cool to see them. Let's continue our theme with holidays with some magical Christmas popcorn buckets and sippers. Here the first one we have, I got this one at a Comic Con, is a Santa Mickey. This definitely is an older version of a popcorn bucket does not have a lot of details and isn't the absolute best of quality that I've seen in a popcorn bucket but it does have a lot of really cool white textures that you guys can see very very toned down kind of dark green dark red and this just says winter fun at Disney parks and here on the strap we also have the darker red with some of the characters there on it Mickey opening a card and Mickey in a wreath pretty simple popcorn bucket and opening it up there holds a lot of popcorn too but not as much I don't think as some of the other ones did. This next one that we have is a lot bigger. This one I got at Disney's Animal Kingdom in 2019. I will have all of my park vlogs linked down below because in November of 2019 I got a popcorn bucket every single day of my trip so if you guys would like to see the other ones that were being sold or my experience of getting them and enjoying the popcorn definitely check out those vlogs as well. So as I mentioned this one is from Animal Kingdom and this is an elf Mickey so I think this one is so so much better than the Santa Mickey. A lot brighter, a lot more detailed, just the quality, the shine of it I can definitely see is a lot better. You guys can see there his gloves. The details on his shirt, his shoes. We have these little red clips with a candy cane designed strap. And this also just says Disney Parks on it. He has the matching strap little hat here. And it also opens up the same way. They're opening it up. It does have a lot of room as well. Again, I don't think these are like the best popcorn buckets as far as like how much popcorn you get but for display and everything this just looks awesome. The next fun holiday character we have is also from November of 2019. I got this bucket at Disney's Hollywood Studios and this is the Christmas Pajama Alien. This looks so adorable. I love his big wintry hat there with all the fun patterns. It even has the fun little ball on the end. I love the bright green of the alien. I just think it works very, very well with this plaid kind of checkery print. It also has a nice bright white Pizza Planet icon. Here it has our little black clips with the black and red straps there to match his outfit. And this one opens up by the mouth. 
which I think is just really, really funny. My last holiday popcorn bucket may be the absolute best popcorn bucket sold at one of the U.S. parks. This definitely resembles the Tokyo Disney Resort buckets and has definitely gotten some influence from them because this one sold out a lot and was just a huge favorite by everybody. This is the Christmas tree popcorn bucket. I was so, so excited to get this bucket and I was so, so worried that it was going to sell out while I was there because it was very, very hard to find and it is so beautiful and so detailed. Again, it reminds me a lot of the Tokyo Disney buckets. This bucket even has a figurine attached to it and that is our little Mickey Mouse with a Santa hat holding the yellow and red present, kind of handing it up to the tree in celebration. This has a bunch of really fun colorful bulbs on it that are clear and do light up. It does have a nice little strand of popcorn here going around it. It is very rubbery and if you really wanted to you could probably rip it off so quality wise there is a little bit concerning and the star over time has actually bent a little bit so that's one thing to note with this particular bucket. Here we have a dark red little clip with this really fun Christmas light strap. It all just goes together so so nicely and looks so beautiful there during the holidays. Opening up this bucket it does have these little lights here so we push our button once and our star lights up. We push it a second time and these bright white lights light up, which once there's no like popcorn or items inside, these little bulbs will glow. It is just hard to see because of the lights I have on currently. And if you push it a third time, then both the star and the middle light up. If you push it a fourth time, then they both blink. And you push it a fifth time and they turn off again. So great quality bucket. Love this bucket. I hope they make more like this here in the U.S. parks. This next item might be my absolute favorite sipper of all time, and that is this Jingle Bell sipper. I'm in love with this. I fell in love with this at Magic Kingdom whenever I got it. I just, I don't know what else to say, but I love, love it. It is so beautiful. It's a so, so cute Christmas red and it does look very, very metallic. It looks like it is metal. It is plastic, and it has a bunch of little jingle bells inside, as you guys can hear. It was so much fun walking around the park with this and hearing it jingle all around. There's a bell in this ear and a bell in this ear, and here in the center, we have our little sipper straw. So again, doesn't hold a lot of drink inside of it, that's really a trend with all of these sippers. It's just more for show and for fun instead of actually how much of the drink that you can get out of it. Something also really cool about this sipper that just makes it so, so amazing. Here it has a little button and it lights up green. You guys might be able to see in there. Looks so cool. Just the once off and once on. Here at the top it has these little clips here with another candy cane design with ornaments and little holly leaves and also the Disney park icons. This next item at the parks is considered a stein but I always just call them all sippers most of the time. This is another souvenir cup. This one looks like a Mickey Mouse snowman ornament. I love this so so much. I love the snowman face there on the white bottom. I love how it's wearing the Mickey Mouse Club ears and this adorable little touch to make it look like an ornament. It does have a black handle and a convenient little flip section to be able to easily open up your drink. Now this cup is a stein as I mentioned because you actually put a cup inside of it. It's not meant to just drink out of. It's just a way to hold your cup. The next item I have here is a straw, also from November of 2019. This one also has a fun little clip attached to it here with a different little mechanism on it. The actual straw is candy cane, which is super cute. And here on the bottom we have our little gingerbread Mickey Mouse keychain. This one is all rubber, so quality-wise, not really the same, but still very, very cute. 
This last holiday item that we have is from the Disneyland Resort, and it is another straw. It is a neon green straw with a Mickey Mouse snowman. So adorable little snowman. I absolutely love this with the different purple and yellow. I really, really like how they did that just so it was different from all of the other holiday merchandise. This is a really cool, clear textured. It looks like ice. And something super cool about this one is it actually screws onto the top of a water bottle so you can actually put a straw into it. So I thought this was really, really cool. I'm surprised that they don't do this more at the Disney parks since they sell so many water bottles. I, um, I just kind of wish that they did this more as well and this one also has a little button because it does light up alrighty we are done with the holiday merchandise now let's head over to the Walt Disney World Resort and the first place that we are going to stop off at is Epcot with the new Skyliner bucket this one I love I love the ride vehicles so I was very very excited to see this one and it is the red Skyliner bucket which is also my favorite I love the red ride vehicles this one isn't super detailed you guys can see here on the doors I wish they did like the gray or did the little sticker windows as well but here looking at those stickers we have our Skyliner logo and our Chippendale there outside here on the side we have the Mickey and the Minnie taking pictures and here on the other side we have Pluto with a little bird. I really like the strap on this one. It has the Skyliner logo inaugural year which is really neat. I've never seen them do anything with a popcorn bucket like that before and this one also holds a lot of popcorn in it. The top opens up and there's room for a lot of popcorn inside. Our next two items from Epcot are both sippers. Here the first one I have is a traffic cone. This is navy blue with bright blue kind of details and textures from the Test Track attraction. This one has a bendy straw and a removable base. This last zipper may be one of my favorite zippers that I have gotten from Walt Disney World and that is the Orange Bird Zipper from the Flower and Garden Festival. This one has a lot of really great textures there on the actual orange part. I love the little leaves and just the little cartoon Orange Bird is adorable. Again, this doesn't hold a lot of drink in it, but it's just so, so cute that I'm glad I was able to pick it up. From the Skyliner, let's move over to Disney's Hollywood Studios here. The next bucket I have may be the largest popcorn bucket I have, but also may actually hold the least amount of popcorn in it. Here we have the TIE Fighter popcorn bucket. This was released for Star Wars The Force Awakens, and this one it's very, very neat, I have, I have to say. It looks really, really cool in the displays. The entire popcorn bucket is all black here except for this red window. It even has the little blasters there on the bottom and these wings actually come off. So it was really, really easy to transport home. The popcorn is only in this center capsule, so not a lot of popcorn here inside of this bucket. This was a little bit hard to carry around Hollywood Studios, but it was very, very nice, again, that these sides did come off. And here on the strap of the bucket, it just has the Star Wars Force Awakens logo. My next Hollywood Studios bucket is actually a couple years old. This is actually the R2-D2 snack pack. This one actually did not come with popcorn in it. It was like with a little kid's meal. And this is just your basic R2-D2. Has all of the darker blues and the grays and the silvers. Looks really great. I've had many memories with this. I had a lot of fun picking this one up. I wish the strap was a little bit bigger because it is hard to hold here on the top. And to retrieve your snacks and treats, you just had to take off his head, which sounds really violent. A lot of the popcorn buckets, you actually have to take their heads off, which is weird. Our last bucket for Disney's Hollywood Studios is the Alien from Toy Story. This one was a lot of fun to carry around the park. It looked so, so cool in Toy Story Land, taking all of the pictures with it. It has all of your classic Alien colors. They're very, very similar to the holiday one that I showed you. I really, really like the strap on this one as well. It looks like a bunch of little Polaroid pictures 
of all the different aliens just having a great time. And this one also opens up the same way. Also reminds me a lot of the Tokyo Disney buckets. Now for the sippers from Disney's Hollywood Studios here. The first one I have is the BB-8 sipper. This looks exactly like BB-8. It even has the little dirt and texture details there on the helmet. How cool is that? This one also holds a lot of like drink to it. It does open up here. Pretty good sized drink inside and this one has a blue bendy straw. Our last sipper for Disney's Hollywood Studios is the R2-D2 sipper. This one is meant to match with the popcorn bucket. It looks the exact same and this is a also Stein style sipper. Here you pop open this little tab and you can actually put a drink inside or actually drink from it. This one is a little bit bigger. It is like a cup size. So this one is a little bit easier to use. And this one does have a really large handle on it. So I had to jump into this one because we are now on to the Magic Kingdom popcorn buckets. Here we have the Casey Jr. train. This one is a really, really bright blue and red. The wheels even move on this bucket and it has a lot of really cool golden details. You access the popcorn here from the compartment. Pretty good size, but this is like your standard size popcorn right here. Not that big of a portion of it, but the reason I hopped in was because I really love something about this bucket. I had no idea that it did this whenever I purchased it. It was not being advertised. I did not see anybody else do this, but if you have this popcorn bucket, take off this little engine piece because it's a train whistle. <laughs> What? This next item from the Magic Kingdom is actually not a bucket. This is the Mickey Mouse Kitchen Sink. This is a little sundae dish, bowl, container. Not really sure what you want to call it, but they now have a Minnie Mouse one, which I hope to pick up next time I go. This looks like the Mickey Mouse pants there with the yellow buttons. I really love these little handles. Our Mickey Mouse's gloves. Just really, really cute little sink. Back to the popcorn buckets here. The next one we have is in celebration of the opening of the Mine Train attraction. This one is very, very cool as well because it does have the moving little wheels. I saw a couple people buy a few of these and you can actually hook them together, which looks awesome. And this has a lot of the wood details on it looks great it also has all the black details and the different gems there on the top i do wish that there were more colors and i do wish that it had the fabric -y handle because this is very flimsy the plastic for this bucket just isn't the best and this one is a few years old and i can definitely see the improvement based on the other ones that i have showed you today opening this one up there's a lot of room for popcorn in there. This is a great like sharing size one since it is so big. And it also features a really cool detail that the attraction has, which is the swinging bucket. So this one actually swings and moves all the different ways too. The next popcorn bucket is another screen print bucket. This one features a lot of different shades of blue and features the eight main characters from Disney there. They're all dressed up in their super glittery fancy outfits. In the top of this container is a shiny blue and this one is a little bit bigger than those Disneyland ones that I showed you and this is a really old bucket. To match that bucket there is also one of the travel cups that was sold at the resorts featuring all the characters on it as well with the same colors to match it. The next popcorn bucket that I have is pretty old as well. It is the Dumbo attraction bucket. How cute does Dumbo look there with his ears sticking out? And his ears actually do collapse for easy travel and storage. This one does have yellow and blue hats and details on it. 
and here in the center is where you actually access the popcorn. It does hold a decent amount, and again, I really wish that they just did the fabric straps from the beginning, because these plastic ones just weren't, they're just not the best. Next up from the Magic Kingdom, I have two of the three hitchhiking ghosts from the Haunted Mansion. One of these is a popcorn bucket and the other one is a sipper. I am missing Gus and these were also released at Disneyland for the 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion. This is a different version of them. They do not have like the 50th anniversary icons on them. Something super cool about these sippers is that they do have these buttons to light up these little lights here. And they also have on off switches. So you guys can see. Looks really really cool. Great for Halloween. Great for Disney park displays. Here this first one we have is Ezra. And I kind of wish they had more detail and things on their faces, but for them being ghosts, it does look really cool with the turquoise blue and the lighter blue. They do have a lot of details in their faces, and up here on the top is actually where the sipper portion of this one is, and I don't think that this one holds a lot of the drinks as well. Something also really neat about the sipper is here on the back, it does have a little bit of information about Ezra. This last one is a popcorn bucket, and this is Phineas. He is holding his little travel case. This one here also has the buttons on it. This one, since it is a popcorn bucket, has a strap, and the strap of this one is actually the Haunted Mansion wallpaper there in the purple and black. And here on the back is where you would actually access your popcorn. There is the Phineas information, and here you would lift this up and pull it out. And this is actually just where you put one of the cardboard popcorn containers. This actually doesn't store popcorn in it because it is a very, very tight space. Just like the Mike and Sally, these ones also connect together. The next bucket from the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World is the Steamboat Mickey Mouse Balloon. I love the hat so so much i love the hat and i also really really love this cartoon strap there featuring the film of the old mickey mouse steamboat willie cartoon this one is gray and white since it is supposed to be the black and white version this one has really cute little glove clips that holds the strap together and this one also does hold a lot of popcorn and it does have the little catchers here on the side too to stick with that theme here, we also have the Minnie Mouse Balloon Bucket. This one has a huge bow. Love the red, love the white. This one is a lot shinier than the Steamboat Willie one that I just showed you. And here on the strap, it has Minnie Mouse's shoes just to help tie in the yellow. And this one does store popcorn the same way. Before we head over to our last park, taking a stop at Disney Springs, here I have a little sipper featuring a red Mickey Mouse hat. This one I got at Goofy's Candy Company, and these come with the icy drinks that you can get there. This one also features the Fab Five characters and their autographs with a bendy straw. My next set of sippers is also from Disney Springs, a restaurant called Splitsville. I really recommend Splitsville if you have never been, and of course they do have ices there as well, and you can get those ices or different drinks here in these bowling pin cups. I just thought they were really, really neat, so I decided to collect all of the colors that they had. So I have the original version, which is a sparkly pink, and the newer versions of the brighter colors. Lastly at Disney's Animal Kingdom here we have the Lotus Flower Popcorn Bucket. This was released for the opening of the Rivers of Light show. This one has two different shades of green leaves with this clear pink top and the lid lifts off. A lot of popcorn can fit in here. Huge bowl size. Again, this is probably one of the biggest popcorn buckets as far as how much popcorn you get. This popcorn bucket also lights up, which looks beautiful at night, especially at Animal Kingdom. This one also has a very, very nice strap with the different shades of green and flowers on them. 
My last popcorn bucket for Animal Kingdom is the Lion King themed drum bucket. This one has great, great details there in the wood looking plastic. I love how they did like the rubbing on it to help bring out the textures of the wood. There you can see the little Lion King logos and this bright tan top. You can actually use it as a drum toy, which is cool. And this one has a dark brown strap with a bunch of really, really cool summery Lion King colors. Our last item from Animal Kingdom to match the lotus flower. Here we have another one of the glow cubes or the ice cubes that go inside of the fun themed drinks. This one is all clear white and when you push this button on the bottom so there it transitions through all of the different colors. Next, I have one sipper from the Disney store. I believe this one is currently still available, but they also have one for Pride Month, which is all rainbow. These are super, super fun. I love the glittery, swirly straw, and the reason I picked this one up was because I thought it looked like Epcot. <laughs> Next, I have two sippers from Disney on Ice. Here, this first one is clear with a red bottom, the white Disney on Ice logo, and the fun, colorful Fab Five characters. And since Disney on Ice is like in the dark, this cup also lights up and flashes super, super crazy. And our last sipper from Disney on Ice is this Little Mermaid flounder cup. He is there on top of blue coral. His little tail is bent over for the handle. And you can also use his fin there to open it up. Now, both of these sippers actually came with snow cones. So they were also selling fun themed straws to eat them with. So here I have a little straw that I got with my snow cone. And it is Olaf with the different shades of blue. It also has the little spoon and straw since it is a snow cone. The last set of popcorn buckets that I have to show you guys today are all from the movie theaters. So these ones were not sold at the actual parks. So the first one we have here is from the AMC theater and it is a tin popcorn bucket. I have found that the AMC theaters have more fun themed popcorn buckets or just in general more souvenir popcorn buckets than Cinemark does. So here we have Bo Peep, Buzz and Woody, and our Toy Story 4 logo. Our next tin is from Cinemark and this is the Avengers popcorn bucket. It has the Marvel Studios logo and all of your favorite characters there on the blue background. The next popcorn bucket from Cinemark is the Mary Poppins Returns bucket and this is a black umbrella there with the little bird handle. It spins super cute and you can flip it there either way. And this one did have a lot of popcorn in it since it literally just is a giant bowl. This next popcorn bucket is from the AMC Theater and here we have the Vanilla Pea popcorn bucket. These are like pill shaped popcorn buckets. They open up here at the top. Also lots and lots of popcorn inside of Vanellope there. These are like pill shaped. These were released for Ralph Breaks the Internet. And the reason that I'm saying these is because there's also a Ralph one to go with it. Really really cute art style with these. And they just they make sense with the movie. They match really really nicely. And lastly for sippers these next two cups were released at Cinemark. Here we have the Last Jedi Luke Skywalker cup and the Beauty and the Beast cup from the live action movie. This next sipper was released at Cinemark and it doesn't all fit into frame because it is actually a lightsaber. You guys can see the clear top and the hilts there on the bottom of the cup and it does have a clear straw and everything. And this one was released for Rise of Skywalker this past December. And our final sipper. This one was released for Avengers Endgame. And that is the gauntlet with the infinity stones there on it. This one is all gold. I like the bright colored stones on it. It looks really, really nice. Again, doesn't hold like that that much of a drink inside of it but it's just great for displays. So as I was 
As I was getting the final shot of the popcorn buckets together, I realized I forgot about one, and this is one of my favorite Disney food ones. This is another screen printed bucket featuring all of the Walt Disney World icons in their little Disney food form. How cool is this? I loved looking at this and trying to figure out what all the little items were made up of all of their little foods and things. This is one of my favorite art styles and designs that like Disney has done with their buckets or even on their merch. So adorable. I wish that there was more items like this and it has a really cute little turquoise top. Let's add it here to the final um, display. And there is actually one more I just found as I was putting these back that I forgot to show you guys. This one is also from the Magic Kingdom celebrating the 90th birthday of a Mickey Mouse. So this is the new cartoon style of Mickey Mouse and he is wearing his little outfit, his little bow, his little hat. Again, not a lot of room for a drink inside, but I had this set aside for my birthday display, which I will be doing in July, so stay tuned for that video as well. So here are all of my Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Tokyo Disney, Shanghai Disney, Disney Store, movies, Disney Springs, everything. These are all my popcorn buckets and zippers. I love them. These are one of my favorite items to collect from the Disney parks. I think they're so cool. I love popcorn and they're just ginormous figures really and they look amazing. They're great for like storage and things. I just love them so so much. Let me know down below in the comments do you have any popcorn buckets or sippers or what one is your favorite? I'd love to hear it down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more collection videos and daily Disney videos. As always remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>